Hello people and welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, welcome to my little art corner. My name is Camilla and you can join our little pack we have going on here by hitting the subscribe button below. I have actually been sick with a cold, so this video has been set back about a week because I couldn't really do a voiceover when I was losing my voice and coughing my lungs out. Thankfully I am starting to feel a lot better now. Today's video comes with some exciting news. The new channel is up. Uh, I'll link to it at the end of this video and uh, I'll also leave a link in the description box. Please go check it out and subscribe, comment, show it some love. Uh, and don't worry, I will still upload art time lapses here. The new channel is more of a journal, lifestyle, behind the scenes kind of alternative concept instead of a traditional vlog. So this video is going to be a time lapse of the illustration I did for the first journal entry on the new channel. These are watercolor sketches from the first stop of our Africa journey. I kind of touched a little on what I'm trying to achieve with this in my last video. Basically I feel like a big problem I have with progressing as an artist is I'm being too much of a perfectionist. I'm just too scared something's not going to come out as good as I pictured it. This results in me over planning and getting stuck in my own head instead of getting things done. I'm wasting my time and uh, have nothing to show for it. So I think having a journal and uh, really pushing myself to visualize and sketch out my art ideas will help me take some of the pressure off. I think the best way to progress in as, as an artist and uh, to find your own style is to just stay productive, continuously produce material. That's the best way to learn in my opinion. You're not supposed to do just art you like, it's impossible. But you can learn from even the art you're not too happy with. I feel like I learned the most from the art I'm not happy with. I see all the faults and things I could have done better and I improve the next time. I also can't stress the importance of sketching enough. It's so much better to only use a very minimal amount of time and cheap materials on something you don't like than immediately attacking a big intimidating artwork and have a lot of expensive material and precious time go to waste, even if you did learn something from it. So that's my little introduction for this video, as well as my new channel. Now to the drawings. Like I said, these are just simple quick watercolor sketches where I kind of try out images I have in my head and see how they translate on paper. The first illustration was of the Rhodesian Ridgeback they had as a guard dog at the lodge we were staying at, at in Kibale. They had a few other dogs as well. They actually had guard dogs at all the lodges we stayed at, which I, as a dog person, obviously loved. Any place feels more like home with dogs. And thankfully all the dogs were very friendly. The second illustration is of a tea plant. There are a lot of tea plantations in Uganda and I found it fascinating that they still harvest these giant plantations by hand. The next one is actually uh, an idea I have for a painting. <coughs> it's from Kibale National Park. Uh, of a very specific moment when we were walking in the rainforest and there were more butterflies than I've ever seen at any one place before. Mostly monarch butterflies, I believe, but then me and my brother at the same time spotted this gigantic turquoise or light blue butterfly right next to us. For some reason this moment stuck with me, it felt important and I really want to do a big detailed painting of that moment. I'm not sure if this watercolor sketch is the way to go or not, but it felt good to get at least one version visual visualized on paper.
And lastly, I tried doing a couple of quick quick thumbnail sketches, both of roads we drove to Kibale National Park. The first is a beautiful road going through the rainforest. Here's the first time we saw all those butterflies, baboons and even wild chimpanzees crossed the road at one point when we were leaving the park. I felt so bad that I didn't have any photos of this magical road, but thankfully my mind's better at remembering to capture the important moments. The second road's the iconic red dirt road. Most roads in Uganda look like this one. I love how the red dirt fits together with the deep greens of the forest around it.
that is it for this video guys. I hope you liked it and I hope you will check out my new channel as well. Let me know what you think about sketching and journaling in the comments below. Do you feel like it helps you make progress like it does for me? Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like the video if you liked the video and subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!